Uh, Ma'am, I, I want to just hit on this one more time on the microfibers. Is, is that from the clothes that you feel like? Because you have so many, uh, so many plastics now that are intertwined with their clothing. Is that where the microfibers are coming from? Yeah. So, in some environments, microfibers are the most common microplastics we see. And one of the sources, and I, I think one of the largest sources, is textiles. And so it is coming from our clothing. And just right. to give you that visual, when you clean the lint from your dryer, those are microfibers. Same sure. thing happens in your washing machine. We're just not trapping them. Yeah, I got new towels at the house, and I'm always cleaning that filter <laughs> out right now. It's bugging That's me. That's right. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sir, uh, can you explain to me what all you have here in front of you? This is a oh, turn your mic on. Make, no, turn your mic on so we can hear you. Sorry, thank you. This is a bridge deck that I manufactured in 1991. We installed about 20 of them. They are doing extremely well even today under the what you call 18-wheeler type of loading conditions. And here is a reinforcing bar, like your rebar that you call right. in construction. And this is made of composite. 80% of by weight is a, a com, uh, glass fiber. And we are now at a point, we, again, we, I built a lot of bridges in West Virginia and a few other places. Uh, all I want to point out is there's a big push now to try to use this in salt water as well as salted sands without washing the sand. So we are going to save a lot of energy. What's, what's the weight on that? Was oh, this is about one-fourth the weight of steel uh, in terms of same diameter and same length. So, we're talk so when we're talking about a deck bridge, you're talking about being able to the deck greatly bridges, increase the weight traffic? The, the deck bridges are about one-fifth the weight of concrete deck. Okay. So that would also save a lot of energy mm -hmm. in terms of production and what have you. Uh, again, like I pointed out in my testimony a few minutes ago, we have wood composite that would not only absorb... Oh, I have that on my deck. I, this stuff's yes, great. Yes, we, yeah. we have done a lot of... I built about 100-plus bridges across the country using the wood composite. As you might know, uh, uh, West Virginia is blessed with a lot of composite-based wood industries, and that's why I had the opportunity to do that. So on our coastal, on the coastal uh, areas, that the rebar that we see in bridges that rust out all the time, uh, you see it from underneath the deck. You see it when us, we're repairing it. So this would be a great replacement a for it, right? Absolutely correct. And as I said, my first bridge I built was in 95. It's holding up extremely well even today. Concrete does crack, but there is no spalling of the concrete. Well, concrete's guaranteed to one thing. It, two, two things, get hard and crack. So that's, that's, that's common. We get that. Right. So. What else you have there? Oh, we have... Some carbon fibers made of uh, uh, coal as well as uh, uh, the petrochemical type thing. And we have some foams to keep the structures lighter and stronger and longer. So foam for like insulation? This is for a variety of insulations, not just one so kind. So like to bring down the sound? Bring down the sound, bring down the heat, bring down... Uh, of various uh, kinds of things and increase the strength of so the like over, and overpasses that's by neighborhoods and stuff it's bring down the noise and the traffic noise and stuff going across the bridge exactly exactly okay what else what else do you have well the, here are some of the recycled material we did using uh, you know uh, the recycled and manufactured the products uh, we have installed some of them as guardrails in, on the highway systems uh, uh, they have been functioning since early 2000. Thank you. I'll, I'll yield back the rest of my time. Thank you, uh, Senator Whitehouse. Thank you. Um, first, let me welcome Professor Ruckman here. Thank you for your help with our, uh, when Senator Sullivan and 